In health news, progress in the fight against cancer. A government study out today says the number of new cases this decade has been dropping on average by 1% a year, and cancer deaths have fallen by more than 1.5% a year. It may not sound like much, but it amounts to 49,000 lives saved in 2006 alone. Researchers credit early detection of and new treatments for the most common cancers, including colorectal. I spoke this afternoon with Dr. Mark Pachapin, a gastroenterologist, about the findings. Dr. Pachapin, this annual report indicates that more people under the age of 50 are being diagnosed with colon cancer. Why is that in your view? Mainly because, in my opinion, it's our lifestyle. People are overweight, they don't exercise, eat red meat, smoking, and I think we're forgetting how important those factors are in preventing disease, especially cancer. Right now, screening colonoscopies are advocated for people age 50 and over. Do you think that this study might make experts reevaluate at what age you should get a screening colonoscopy? I think it's always tough. It's the risk benefit, but I think we have to do something to look at the age group between 40 and 50 and see how we can decrease that risk. One thing in particular is family history. People have a risk of um, family cancer, such as colorectal cancer, but also um, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, these glandular type cancers. If there are young people and families having that, they may need to get screened at a younger age and they should talk to the doctor about that. There was encouraging news about colonoscopies. Now, about 40% of people age 15 and over currently get screening colonoscopies. If that trend continues, the death rate will be cut by another 36 percent by 2020. What if even more people got screened? What would that mean? That's really the best piece of this. I think this is very good news, this report, because if 60 percent of people were to get screened, by 2020, half of all mortality from colorectal cancer would be prevented. That's thousands of people. You know, 150,000 people or so are diagnosed, and really 50 plus thousand people die from this disease. So you're talking about so many people that could be affected and be prevented from this deadly disease. And finally, Mark, there's been a backlash recently about screening. We heard that government panels say women between the ages of 40 and 50, if they don't have a family history, don't have to get mammograms. PSA tests for prostate cancer have been called into question because they may lead to over-treatment when it's a slow-growing disease. What about colonoscopies? Are people questioning the efficacy of that particular screening technique at all? Actually, colon cancer screening using colonoscopy is really a different type of prevention because we're finding something before it turns cancerous. Most cancer screening is looking for an early cancer, but with colonoscopy, you're looking for a polyp, which is a potentially precancerous growth. By removing the polyp, you prevent the cancer. So I think colonoscopy still remains the most effective way to prevent cancer. And so, no, I don't think we've seen a backlash, and I hope not. I think we're saving lives. Dr. Mark Bachapin, thank you so much, Mark.